John Canoe Beach is one of the most visited beaches in Nassau, Bahamas. This video is all about how to get you from the port to John Canoe Beach safely and tell you exactly what's at John Canoe Beach that you can experience. Is it worth you going there? I explore all of those questions on this video to help you understand exactly what you can expect. I discuss the beach quality. What are some of the things you can expect? How much money should you bring with you? Um, what about food to eat while you're on the beach? And how long does it take to get there? And is it safe to do so? So stay with me as I do a complete and comprehensive tour. If you're thinking about going to John Canoe Beach, you're likely aboard a cruise ship and one of the three million passengers that descend on Nassau, Bahamas every year. Nassau is relatively small. There's only about maybe three to 400,000 people that live here. And again, three million tourists come here every year. So uh, one of the things that they like to do is go to John Canoe Beach. And the reason why John Canoe Beach is so popular is because it's the closest beach within walking distance from the port. Normally, ships that come into this port are only here for a day. You don't have all day to get off the ship. I recommend you do so early. They give preference to people who have excursions. John Canoe Beach is a free beach. It's not an excursion, so you need to get off the boat early. One important note is that cruise ships give preference to folks who have purchased excursions aboard the ship. What does that mean? That means they let them off the ship first. That means you need to make every effort not to remain on the ship too late because it's a walk to get to John Canoe Beach and you want to spend as much time on the beach as possible and as little time on the cruise ship that you can. The first thing you're going to encounter once you get off this cruise ship are people who are going to try to convince you not to walk to John Canoe Beach. They're going to try to sell you an excursion. Excursions are the lifeblood of Bahamians. More than half of the population entirely works on tourism. That means they get, this is their lifeblood. This is the industry of the Bahamas. So ignore them, walk past them politely and find where John Canoe Beach is because John Canoe Beach is free. Now, this is not John Canoe Beach. This is an excursion. An excursion are a great way for you to explore the Bahamas and also do some things, a once in a lifetime uh, opportunity. So if you prefer an excursion, go ahead and do it. But remember, it's not free. John Canoe Beach is. There is what looks like a make-believe town that you have to walk through. It's absolutely beautiful and they're going to be selling local goods. Um, this is part of the trek to John Canoe Beach and I love it because it looks so iconic. It's absolutely beautiful. The Bahamians are friendly and every Bahamian knows where John Canoe Beach is. You just have to ask them. Most, I wouldn't say half the tourists go to John Canoe Beach, but a good deal do. So if they see you walking, more than likely they already know where you're headed. Also, so there's a strong police presence so I felt absolutely safe in the port and I saw police all the way along the line to John Canoe Beach so safety was not a concern but nevertheless exercise safety precautions wherever you go at all times because crime can happen everywhere. Once you leave the main port area, you will walk into the town where you will find a lot of local native Bahamians. Um, turn to your right. If you are in a wheelchair, I found that the entire um, walk from port to John Canoe Beach is wheelchair accessible. However, you'll have challenges once you get on the beach. However, again, wheelchair accessible. I've been talking about leaving the cruise ship early, getting to the beach on time, making your way down there. But I just want to point out that there are local entertainment, you know, all the way 
to John Canoe Beach. This is just one of many that you'll find. Either people will be on the side singing songs, maybe local artists and craftsmen. Take the time to soak it up and enjoy the fun. And again, wheelchair accessible. So don't feel that if you're in a wheelchair or that you can't go to John Canoe Beach, you're probably gonna need some degree of assistance, but if, for the most part, you can do just fine if you can push the wheelchair on your own, or especially if it's motorized. In getting to John Canoe Beach, you will have to walk through some of the local town here. This gives, uh, this gives people a lot of heartburn. That's because they're afraid of being robbed and mugged or taken advantage of. However, I found that the Bahamian people are very friendly. Um, they generally do not harass or you know, pressure you into buying uh, local goods. Uh, they want you to come to the Bahamas and have a good time. And uh, you'll, you'll have a relaxing walk to John Canoe Beach. But there's lots of places that you can also stop and buy stuff. This is a local craft market. As you're walking towards John Canoe Beach, it'll be on your left-hand side. Definitely recommend you, if you wanna do shopping in the Bahamas, this is the place to go. You'll see local craftsmen who are craftsmen and women who are working on projects, and so you'll know it's authentically made. I definitely recommend you come here because this is part of the way of supporting the local Bahamian economy. We are halfway through the video. If you've been watching this far, I encourage you to like and subscribe. This is the best way that you can support my channel. For folks who wanna save money, the last thing you should do before leaving the cruise ship is eat. However, those of you, if you want to experience local delicacies, you should leave the ship with an appetite because walking to John Canoe Beach, there's gonna to be tons of opportunities for you to buy local cuisines. And these cuisines are tailored to the American taste buds, so you're not gonna find things that are overly spicy or taste you know, in a way that's really not palatable. It's really done extraordinarily well. So definitely come with an appetite if you wanna try some local foods. I found that there were, again, security uh, presence wherever I went, uh, so I wasn't at all concerned. Uh, don't worry about getting lost. It's a very simple walk. Uh, most of the people you'll see in this video are all walking towards the same direction. So you'll find a few thousand people walking in the same direction towards John Canoe Beach. So don't feel like you're gonna get lost or you're gonna be somewhere where you know, you're all alone and there's nothing but you and locals. Uh, that's not the case at all. So this is it, John Canoe Beach. And just one more word about being lost. If you feel turned around, just simply ask, continue to walk to your right away from the port and uh, just ask, where is John Canoe Beach to any local? English is the national language, so they'll be happy to help you. Um, and it's, an, it, it's, it's easy to find, you cannot get lost. Um, in walking here. If you don't want to walk and you want to, you know, you know, take a local taxi, there's a main road thoroughfare that runs along uh, John Canoe Beach and it's a $5 cab ride. So let's talk about what you can experience at John Canoe Beach as, as it relates to recreational activities. You'll note that there are uh, quite a few things, everything you can think of doing, whether it's the um, bike or snorkel gear, um, the, all the chairs here uh, are, are rented, um, or if you eat at the local restaurant, they let you use the chair. Uh, so there's no free chairs or anything else out here. Um, I recommend you bring a towel from the cruise ship. Um, looking at the sand, you can see that it's a bit rocky at parts, but the water is clear and the sand is white. Uh, it's not far at all from the port. I'm gonna turn the camera around here and you'll see the cruise ship in the distance. And this is a, what the, the beach looked like. It's not very long. It doesn't go for too far. Um, however, it's very packed. There are lots of people here. Um, that's because it's the closest beach to the port. And it's not a bad beach, but as you can see, it's a bit rocky. So it's not the best that the Bahamas has to offer. Let's talk about cost. If you want to buy food, it's going to cost you around $20 per person. Uh, if you want to have water gear, we were there with a group of six. 
And for $120, we had uh, deck chairs, we had use of the paddle board, the stand up board, um, the pretty much all of the uh, you know gear that you see here was ours to use for as long as as we needed um, however if you just wanted to go here and just enjoy the beach all of this is not really necessary um, but if you want to enhance your vacation experience 120 dollars for six people that's not bad at all Something to keep in mind, when it comes to the price of water sports activities, the craft market, food, or anything else, negotiate the price that is right for you. That is not offensive in the Bahamas. The Bahamas has a variety of beach um, that you can experience. John Canoe's Beach is not their best, so keep that in mind. However, the water is crystal clear most of the time, unless the, you know, there's a storm um, or something like that. Just be mindful of that. But for the most part, the water is going to be crystal clear. The sand can be a little rocky in places, and the water temperature is absolutely perfect. There is no difference between outside and in. So when you get into the water, it's not a chill at all. It's an absolute perfect water temperature and not too crowded within the water, but overall, when it comes to a beach, it's a little bit crowded because it's a popular beach for people who are uh, using the cruise ship. As far as the food is concerned, you are not going to be disappointed. There are tons of uh, local dishes that are being offered by these shacks that are right behind the beach in between the road and the beach So you can order local cuisines and you can get a full meal for about $20 or so um, I recommend you order early because they cook the food fresh and that takes time So don't wait towards the end because you don't want to miss your boat John Canoe Beach is perfect for families who are on a budget. You can go here for absolutely nothing. The only thing you'll need is your towels from the cruise ship. Also remember to bring your walking shoes because it's a 10 minute walk away. Also, the most important thing you can do to help my channel is to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed my video.